A famous NBA player just said this about Jesus and it took everybody by surprise. The media didn't know what to respond or how to respond to what he said. And today we're going to delve into exactly why we as believers need to be standing in the gap. <clears throat> today more than ever we're seeing prophecy unfolding before our eyes. We know that the time is drawing near to the uh, return of Christ and we're seeing things happening in the world that we know deep down inside we're drawing very very close. But there's one aspect of this that I wanted to show you plain in sight how the media are trying to ban Christ and to shut him out of every conversation possible like always what i'll ask you to do is to watch them full to get the full context but also smash the like button so that someone who does not know christ will come to the understanding of who christ truly is the first thing we're going to get into is how biased this media is every time the name jesus is mentioned the issue with sin it it, it, it it makes us our sin that's in us makes us do those things and the only the only salvation for this sin is the gospel the only way to really cure that what's on the inside is understanding that jesus christ died for our sins and so th to me on a micro level it's understanding it. Oh, it, just like that we lost him i know I masters champion bubba watson Um, and then second, I got to thank uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This day means so much more than, than putting on this green jacket in many ways. All right, so a uh, technical glitch there from Augusta National, but we will bring you much more of uh, Bubba Watson, obviously. You know, some would say this is a glitch, but when you look deeper into it, the media is becoming more and more biased. Even in the Olympics we've seen happening this year, they banned all that they could of Christ, whether it be images, whether it be uh, symbols of the cross, loads of different athletes told that they could not show it, but a lot of them stood against it. Um, have a look at how blatant this is, even what happened in the NFL. Have a listen. In your first NFL season and a record-setting performance for you, what does this moment mean? I mean, it's been amazing being in this city for as short as I've been. But first and foremost, I just want to give all glory and praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing being... So it's becoming more and more obvious they are trying to push away any mention of the name of Jesus. But like always as we talk about prophecy and look at things in scripture, many who study prophecy know we're coming close. And this NBA star, when he was in his, it looked like the post uh, media press conference, said this exact thing about the return of Christ. Have a listen. First, I just want to say that, that Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Um, and to, to any, any of, you know, the world that's hearing this message, um, the kingdom of heaven is near. Um, Jesus is coming back and we all have to repent for our sins. Um, and, and we have to put our faith in Jesus. He will come back, um, when you least expect it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's time to, to wake up if you haven't put your faith in Jesus Christ. To me, I thought this was a beautiful message to get out live on TV to millions of people with the hope that someone young uh, people will see this and even take the time to go study what he is talking about and eventually come to know who Christ is. The big question that's asked is, why are so many people feeling like we're seeing end time signs or Bible prophecy unfolding? Why are we seeing such a shaking in the world on the political, geopolitical environment? We're seeing all types of wars and you know rumors of wars and desolation and we're seeing the whole what I would class as the moral decline and moral decay within society of the whole woke agenda. But one of the natural things in terms of what we see happening is strange phenomena. Even in Europe, things like this are happening on a regular basis, which never really happened before.
are becoming more and more common. Me, as someone who's living in Ireland, we would never know any strong like, kind of natural disasters or events like that. And I'm trying to keep an eye out, even here, seeing what type of things may occur, because I believe it's going to happen in different uh, parts of the world, in various places, especially in places that don't get these type of things. Um, and we're going to see it happen more and more. But the number one thing I will say, with all of the things that are happening in the world, all of the distractions, whether it be you know the political side or financial side of the, the markets and all of the distractions of the media, the most important thing we should do, and my mum says this to me all the time, is to keep our eye on Jesus. We go to scripture all the time. I can even see change when people do this. My own younger brother, who's been delving into scripture, has become a changed man. And I can see the excitement and the love that's grown in, in his heart for God because the more he searches the word, the more he sees the truth. So even with all the channels that are out there at the moment and you know a lot of people saying this, that or the other, the main thing that we should be doing is using scripture as our foundation to see the truth. And the more we do that, will be able to see the counterfeits that's out there but yes we can see prophecy is unfolding we know that when the name of Jesus is mentioned people go absolutely nuts we see it all the time in different aspects people don't like the name of Jesus and be, I believe they don't like it because it brings a sense of accountability because every person on this planet deep inside their heart know that they're what they call to be a higher power and we believe to be Jesus Christ, God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Deep in their heart they know, but most push it down. They suppress the truth with unrighteousness. They don't want to be accountable. They want to choose what they want to choose. I wanted to keep it short. Jesus' name brings absolute tremblings and fear to most. That's why they go crazy when they hear it. And that's how we know that there's power in the name of Jesus. Remember, regardless of all the chaos that's going on in the world, God's always in control and keep the faith.